will I go? If you let me go, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my anchor for life. Oh, if you let me go, where will I go? If you let me go, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my anchor for life. Oh. once again and many times and always that you are my own. If you leave me, if you leave the righteous, if you leave this nation, we have nowhere to stand upon. You are our faith, you are our strength, you are our anchor. We give you praise and we give you honor. As I pray this morning, together with the intercessors in the nation of Kenya, Lord, I'm asking you that you are going to use us. You are going to sit upon me. You are going to sit upon this media. And you are going to glorify yourself even through our prayers in the name that is above every other name. Father, I thank you and I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome on board, good people. Welcome on board again. This is yet another beautiful morning that we all long for. I want to appreciate all the intercessors that have been praying with me, those that have been commenting, those that have not been commenting. I believe you have also been agreeing together with me and those that have been forwarding and sharing the messages. May God bless you in the name that is above every other name. I want to welcome you today for prayers and today I have so much that the Lord has spoken to us and, sp and spoken to me, especially concerning this nation of Kenya. And I want to bless God for everything. Glory be to God. I want us to start with first prayers. Today we are going to enter at the gates or into the gates of the nation of Kenya. And we are going to stand against gates that have been prevailing. Against gates are people. The Bible says in Psalms 27, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Gates are people. These are heads that have stood and they have declared nothing is going to move in this nation. Nothing is going to stand in this nation. And the Lord was speaking to me yesterday night that I should deal with the gates in the nation of Kenya. Glory be to God. We are going to go into the book of, of Daniel chapter 9. 
Daniel chapter 9. This scripture the Lord has just given me this morning. Daniel chapter 9 verse 7 and verse 8. I am not liking the American, New American Standard Bible translation, but it is a good one. I'm going to deal with mine, this Bible of mine, in Daniel chapter 9. This is King James. This is the Holy Bible here. This is King James. And I'm also going to read this. This one is simpler. This one, I like it. The Bible says in verse 7 and verse 8, O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. American Bible says shame. Shame of faces. So confusion of faces. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says, aha, uh -huh, and the Bible says, as at this day to the men of Judah and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through, that through all the countries, whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. O oh Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faces, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. The Lord has just spoken over my ears this morning before I started online, that I need to deal, before I deal with the gates, I need to deal with the faces in the nation of Kenya. There is confusion in the faces in the government, confusion, confusion in the office of the president, the office of the deputy president, the of all the offices that are very, uh, they are very, they are priority in this nation. They are full of confusion. Glory be to God in decision making, and in the night, I didn't understand it. Now it's coming clearer to me. In the night when I finished praying and I decided to sleep early, early around nine, uh, three o'clock, the Lord took me into a trance and I saw myself the market is closed. The market, we have time, time rate to be closed and to be opened. And people we are running in the market, people we are running out and I could see a Muindi, Muhindi, a Hindu man is the one that was standing at the gate, ordering the gate to be closed ordering the gate to be opened. Glory be to God. We are going to deal with the principalities. We are going to deal with confusion. When you go to the book of Acts, the book of Acts in chapter 19 and verses 32, this one I taught many years ago. Glory be to God. The Bible says, Some therefore cried one thing, and some another, for the assembly was confused. And the more part knew not whether they were come together. Many did not know, like in the nation of Kenya, many are not knowing what is happening in the government, what is happening in the spiritual realm, what is happening in the nation of Kenya, what is happening in the church of Christ, praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that some therefore cried out, this is when Paul dealt with the goddess and everybody was put into confusion. And the Bible says that some therefore cried one thing. Others are crying this thing. Others are crying the other side, the other thing. But the Bible says majority, part of the most people did not know why there was a cry, did not know why they were crying. That is what the Bible is saying. Some therefore cried one thing, some other, uh, and some other another. And the assembly was confused. The assembly was confused. The Lord has spoken to me this morning that the government has a lot of confusion. The nation of Kenya, there is confusion of faces. Well, this is a big topic. I can teach on this. Confusion of faces, it is department. Health department, confusion of faces. Finances, 
confusion of faces, education, confusion of faces in the church, in the apostolic, in the prophetic, in the apostolic, in the pastoral evangelism, in the church. There is a lot of confusion. We are going to deal with the confusion and we are going to tell the Lord as intercessors, oh God, bring alignment in the offices of the nation of Kenya. Glory be to God. We are dealing with political leaders and spiritual leaders in Jesus' name. Sharabo sita lamanda besi. Kayeko dobrosia. Bendebozia tulumozia. Magadebrosia taba. Mayanda besia kuwa laboshi kadia. My father, my father. And to us there is confusion of faces in the office of the health. In the office of education, in the office of finance, in the office of land, in the office of the president, in the office of the deputy president. Every office in the government has confusion. Father, I am praying in the name of Jesus. Kayata la besi, shoro gondoro mosiada, maga de prosiata be, shere bosia. Bring alignment, Spirit of the Living God. Bring alignment in this nation. Bring alignment in this nation. Enter, enter. Kada Brosia in the Parliament. Enter Jehovah God. Shara Basiada. Bring alignment, Jehovah Master. Show the Church of Christ mercy. Kaya Toribosia. Kendere Mosia Turubosia. Kaya Nalamesia Turubosia. Kaya tu panda la be shendere bo seke ne bi sharabande soko do pro sharabasi kere kete panda la be soto bo si shede bo si kete bo si show us mercy master show us mercy Jehovah God to us belongs confusion of faces in the assembly confusion of faces. Karaba se tere bosi, karabara bosi ada besi, shoro gondoro bosi atuara besi. Let the spirits of God bring alignment. Hey Kadaga, I enter in the office of the president in the spiritual realm. I bring alignment. Kodo panda besi, tumdurumu chende bosi, kere kere para poria tere bosi a kayanda be. Surubosia, Kaya Tarabe, let the angels of Alta lift an altar in the office of the president. Kaya Terebosia, Turumosi Kadiba, Shendere Bosia Turimaka, Kendere Kendere Bosia, Kurumusi Kidiri Kidi, Kaya Tu, Bande Bosi, Tere Kende, Mandala Me, Surumusi, Shere Kende, Bagada Brosiada. I enter in the office of the deputy president. I remove every confusion. Confusion of faces. Kayata la besi. Kolomondo lo mosiada. Pendele mosia kuada be. Shada brosia turimaza. I pour oil in that office of the deputy president. Let confusion die. Kayata brosa. Kayata la besi. I pour the oil on Akanda basia. Upon the seat of the deputy, Kulamanda, Sendebosia, Turumosia, Shenderemosi, Kulimaganda, Pari Pariata, Pari Pariata, Pari Pariata, Senderemosia. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I go that what when God opens my eyes, I obey the leading. I also want us to pray for Kalonzo Musioka. Is it Kalonzo Musioka? Yes. We need to pray for him so very much. Very, very much. Very much. Glory be to God. And I will not say for now, but I will go pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for Kalonzo Musioka. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Now, these are my prayer notes. We are going to deal with the gates. Let's go to Genesis 22. We may not do much prayers, but we are going to do prayers that matters. Genesis 22, we are going to enter at the gates or in the gates of Kenya. Genesis 22, 
Glory be to God. We are going, I've dealt with, with gates in Embu. We are also going to deal with the gates in Kenya. Now, 22 and verses 17. This is what I love when I'm dealing with gates. Glory be to God. The Bible says, Indeed, I will greatly bless you, and I will greatly multiply your, your descendants as the stars of heaven, and as the star, uh, and as the sand which is on the, uh, on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gates of their enemies. Your descendants shall possess the gate. Not gates, the gate. There is a particular gate that needs to be dealt with. A gate that needs to be dealt with. A gate that will hinder progress, that will hinder success. Gates, it is a person. We enter in parliament today, in the government of Kenya. We are going to bring justice, that there will be no anything that is going to be dissolved. Praise the name of the living God. Let us go to Galatians. Put your hand there. Go to Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Now, Galatians chapter 3 is still speaking the same thing. That Abraham, there is a blessing of Abraham that we need to have. And we cannot have it from verses 13. We cannot have it until gates are meant, uh, are, are, are opened, gates are removed, gates are uprooted, and gates are planted. Glory be to God. The Bible says in verses 13 and verses 14, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. In order that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. Glory be to God. There must be this gate. I saw a gate being closed. People were in a hurry. Even me, I was seeing myself there. I am in a hurry to come out because the gate of the market is going to be closed. The gate of the market is going to be closed. And it was being closed by a muhindi. Glory be to God. And I was also running so that I will not be closed in. Or I'll be I will not be shut in. Glory be to God. Get is a person. And any time people want to bless, to receive their blessings, you must deal with the gates. The Bible says that in order, the gate must be uprooted. The gate, the gate of law must be uprooted. The gate of cage must be uprooted. Why? In order that in Christ Jesus, the blessings of Abraham, what is this blessing? It is in Genesis 22 verse 17. Indeed, I will greatly bless you and I will greatly multiply your descendants as the stars of heavens. There is a gate the enemy is standing to hinder increase, to hinder multiplication, to hinder abundance. Glory be to God. We are going to tell the Lord that this scripture may come to pass. We are going to tell God one prayer. Oh God, we are asking you, uproot any gate, uproot any gate that is hindering increase, multiplication, supply, abundance in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. Any gate, kaya tarabos, Mandala mesia kutaraba, shende lebo zikaruba kada, bende lebo zikada brosi atabada, kerebo zikaruba kade, sherebo zikula maganda, zegede brosi atabesi, enege that is hindering the righteous to possess their blessing, the seed of the righteous to increase like the sand of the of the land, to increase as the stars in the heaven, koko do prasataba. Kede bro sadaba, se de bro sadabada, she de bro sadabada, se de bro sadabada, se de bro sadabada, sharabanda la bes, sharabasi adabes, korobosi adabes, shorokondo romosi akutara bes, let the gate be a pruta doka, let the gate be a pruta doka, let the gate be a pruta doka, shada bro sadaba. Shada prosadaba, shada prosadaba da, kada prosadaba da, kada prosadaba da, kede kede bagado, sada prosiatiabade, kada prosiatuarabe, 
Shada prosia turabaze korogodo karabaga shedebede badagade sokodogo via prute via prute via prute via prute via prute via prute kadagada segedege bagadabu zagadaba kogo taba kededi bandabo segede via prute kalabosi sharabos in Jesus name we pray there are things I'm seeing in the spirit that I cannot talk, but I've seen a lot of dimen a lot of groups, a lot of groups, and many trees are being uprooted. I'm going to pray and ask God, why have I seen this other group of Wakorinu? Why have I seen them? Glory be to God. Why have I seen them? Why are politicians so much interested in that group? Amen. Glory be to God. The eyes of the spirit are interesting. You can also go to the same scripture, but 26, uh, chapter 24, Genesis 24, verse 60. We are dealing with the gates. I will read and then we shall go now, Marathon. 26, uh, 24, verse 60. And they blessed Rebecca and said to her, May you, our sister, become thousand of ten thousands, and may your descendants possess the gate of those who hate them. Now, this is about Rebecca. She was getting married to Isaac, and the servant of Abraham has gone to get a wife for her, for him. And the Bible says from verses 58, uh, and they called Rebecca and said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. Thus they sent away their sister, Rebecca, and her nurse with Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebekah to her. May you, our sister, bless, uh, become thousand of the... The devil will always fight at the gate. Let me tell you. The enemies fight great nations, great people. They are not fought at the crossroads. They are fought at the gate. Their battles are taken to the gate. The Bible says that. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, May you, our sister, become thousands of ten thousands. May your descendants possess the gates of those that hate them. Glory be to God. Let's go to Psalms 24. This is another one. Psalms 24, chapter 24. Even when you are dealing concerning marriage, when you are dealing about families, there are women that are very naughty, naughty very naughty. Normally when we preach to them, we tell them, you go to the mountain, like now I'm a minister of the gospel. There is time to fast, there is time to go to the family. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when you look at Psalms 24, this one, I don't know, I'll read a little of it. I will not read all of it. Verses 1, the earth is the Lord's and all it contains. The world and those who dwell in it. Mark that. The world is the Lord. The earth, this earth. When you go to Ecclesiastes 5, 9, the Bible says that the earth, you know, it is supposed to, to, to benefit, to profit everybody. Glory be to God. So the earth is the Lord and all it contains. Everything on the land belongs to God, even yourself. And the Bible says, the world and those who dwell in, in it, for he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the rivers. Who may ascend into the hills of the Lord? And who may stand in his holy place? Who, and who, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to falsehood and has not sworn deceitfully. Now he shall receive a blessing from the Lord, the righteous and the righteous from the God of his salvation. Look at that. There is a blessing on this earth. There is a blessing that the righteous are supposed to possess. The government is not for the wicked. Let me be very open. The government is not for the wicked. The government is for the righteous. We have seen it all from the beginning of the Bible. Daniel was a righteous man. Da Joseph was a righteous man. Praise the name of the Lord. We have so many people, even Paul became righteous. Glory be to God. We have so many people we can stand and say they are righteous. But what is happening in the government of Kenya? We have people I can mention more than 15 people I know 
They used to be elders in a Pentecostal church. They used to speak in tongues. They used to preach. But today, when they entered in the government, the government swallowed them. Today, they are wicked. Glory be to God. The government is supposed to be of righteous people. When the righteous sit on the throne, then the righteous or the nation shall be at peace. The Bible says that there is a blessing for the righteous. But what is hindering this blessing? The Bible says in verse 6, This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek thy face, even Jacob. There is a blessing for the righteous. But look at what is happening in verse 7 up to verse 10. Lift up your heads, O gates. Look at that. The righteous cannot enter into the parliament because the gates have bowed. They have said you cannot get into the parliament. You cannot get into the government. Glory be to God. And the Bible says, and lift up O Asian doors. They are those ancestral powers, foundations that are speaking against the righteous entering into the government and the bible says who is the king of glory that the king of glory may come in who is the king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads O gates and lift them up O ancient gates all uh, ancient doors that the king of glory may come in and who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory they are gates they are doors look here before you come into my door, you, there must be a gate. So you must find the gate, break it, or it opens. Number two, you after the gate is opened, you enter and doors are opened. Glory be to God. Today we are going to tell God, lift up your heads, O ye gates, in the government, that the righteous may come in. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, in the nation of Kenya, that have said there will be no revival, that have said we shall look for those fresh anointed ministers of the gospel, that we may feed them with what we have fed other ministers and we have defiled them. We are going to tell God, let those gates open up and when gates open, doors will open. Glory be to God. Shagada prosa. Shendebosiribada. Bayatolomosia. Sheregenderebosia. Karabande rebosida, shendele musia kutaraba, kere kende regende, bandala bezia turubosia, kere bozia turubosia, keke togodo baragade shodorabua, kere gedia. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, that the, the blessings of Abraham shall locate the righteous in the government, the righteous in the nation of Kenya. God, you say, you are in the business of raising the new generation. Kadabro said it. Let the gate that has lifted his head against the new generation to enter into the government, to enter into the nation of Kenya, to enter into parliament. Let the gate be uprooted. I enter as a bulldozer in the Holy Ghost. Kado, Pado, Pado, Sadaba, Tedebe, Zogodobo, Pendelemesi, Kulukudu, Badelege, Badobo, Sadibade, Kogodo, Padagade, Bagadebe, Bayato, Bandabosi, Tarabosi, 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 Torobosi, who art thou great mountain? Bayado before the Rubabe, Sheregan de Rebosia, Karibanabesia. I anointed the foundation of this nation. Kado, Prada, get out, Paria, Tobro, Sedebe, Sogodo, Bandebo, Segede. I am fruit in the name of Jesus. Karibo Sogodo, Paribo Robosia, Keregen de Rebosia, Kereben Segedevia. The Bible says in Matthew 16, verses 18, I shall build my church upon this rock upon this revelation and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church gates of hell shall not prevail against the new generation shall not prevail against the new generation the new prince of people that god is raising in this nation to bring changes the old group you will not defile, you will not spoil, you will not destroy Kaya do Brazil because you know that your time has come to go. Kakato, 
pakato pakato prosia taiba tu arabesia kolomosia in jesus name so we are going to go isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3 isaiah i think i will do those two more then we call it a day isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3 now this is very important normally i don't leave my prayers hanging because i have learned warfare glory be to god isaiah for this is something we all know we all know isaiah for that aha uh -huh, this one is something we all know i'm now contemplating between isaiah 45 and isaiah 25 but let's start with this 20, uh, 45 this is what the bible says isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3 that says the Lord to Cyrus is anointed. If that is your Bible, put down your name. That says the Lord to Damaris is anointed, whom I have taken by the, the right hand. This is, this is real. The Lord just takes somebody like that and you are taken in the spiritual realm. You are in Embu, but your spirit is entering places. It's just, it's real to me. To subdue nation, this is real. To subdue nations before him and to lose the loins of kings to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut glory be to god i will go before you damaris and make the rough places smooth i will scatter i will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through their iron bars and i will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden wealth of secret places in order that you may know that it is i the lord the god of israel who calls you by your name look here there are things i cannot say that god has allowed me this morning to see in the spiritual area but this is very real you enter you bring down walls you bring down iron gates you bring i could see myself in those offices and files you know opening files that are very dusty and i will undust them i will not talk but there are so many things i've seen but there is one thing the lord has spoken to me through one person when i was praying in the spiritual area and it is like they, they want to destroy before we get in glory be to god and this is what the church should pray about now we are going to tell god let there be restoration let there be restoration let, and i'll continue praying that prayer until there is restoration oh god restore what the builders have destroyed glory be to god restore what the builders have destroyed because the same people that have built they have started destroying this glory be to god open your mouth and just tell god destroy Destroy those that have destroyed and destroy Sharabesia. Build what the destroyers have, those the builders have destroyed and build those that have been destroyed. Shaga, Toprosia, my father, my father, the God of this commission. Destroy the destroyer. Destroy the destroyer. Destroy the destroyer. They want to destroy what they have built that nobody else will benefit in it. Destroy the destroyer. Destroy the destroyer. Gada brosadabe. Shada brosiadabe. Kandala be sukudu. Shendere busigede. Shere bosia tuarabe. My father, my father. The God of the earth. The God of that that consists in the earth. The God of the world. The God that founded the earth. Shaga dobro. Send the destroy the destroyer of what we have gathered. Oh, Kada, Bandebosi, Sheregendi, do not allow our children to be born when the nation of Kenya has died. Do not allow, destroy before they destroy. Kada, Brosiada, destroy before they destroy what we have built, oh God. Shanga Deba, Shondobosia, Kenderebosia. Destroy their small tents. These tents that I see in the spiritual Destroy the tents and the kids. Destroy the tents and the kids. Destroy the tents and the kids. Pondobu, Sibunima, Kende Gendia, Pondubuzia, Kende Bosia, Kudu Kudu, Shendebesi, Kudu Kudu, Kende Bosi, Kudu Kudu. Let the destroyer appear. 
destroy the tents and the caves that I am seeing Uka, Kurubusu, Pandemosiada, Pendemosia Kurika, Shendemosia Kuriva, Shagada Prosiada, my father, my father, Koi, 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 Bandalemosi, who Shigini, Kigini, Shurubusia, Korobosia, Enter, Mandebo, Mayada, Igera Makope, Karabesia, Enter in their stores, Enter in their stores, Karabosia, Shorobodiriba, Soroboriade, Ika, Kukudu, Kudubu, Kikini, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go to 25. That one I'll continue when I'm alone, but they are tense. Hey. I bless God. Thank you, Father, for giving me these eyes. Now, 25. 25, verse 9 to 12. This one will just pray one prayer. When you go home, please pray together with me. Let the tents, let the stores, you know, the caves they have stored, let God enter there. Now, the Bible says 12, uh, 9, 12. And it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God for whom we have waited that he might save us. May that day come. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. In school of mentorship, I'm teaching on waiting. You need to enter and learn. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, and Moab will be truded down in his place as throw a student down in the water of a manure pile. That one, I've seen it. And he will spread out his hands in the middle of it, as a swimmer spread it out his hands to swim. As a swimmer spread it. This scripture, we have dealt with it in church many times, where they have stored their goods, where they have kept for themselves for years to come. Go to enter, just like a swimmer is swimming. Let him spread his hands. Let him go destroying their Makobi Mao, their storehouse, their warehouse, Let, where they have stored what they have eaten, where they have stored what they have stolen. Let God enter like a swimmer. Glory be to God. And the Bible says, like a swimmer, and the Bible says, that swims, but the Lord will lay low his pride together with the treasuries or trickeries of his hands. And the and 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 uh, my eyes are closed. And the fortified cities of your walls he will bring down, lay low and cast to the ground. If, let me tell you, we are going to pray one prayer. This prayer, go to enter like a swimmer in those where they have stored what they have stolen, what where they have kept those treasures that they have kept for themselves. Let him enter, let him spread his hands, destroying them like a swimmer. Number two, the walls they have built for themselves. Let those walls come down. Let the walls become like a ground. Glory be to God. That the poor can cross using the road because the walls have fallen. Whatever is a wall has gone down, it has become a plain road. And that is what we are praying in Jesus' name. Kandobo Sadaba. Ken Debo Siriba, Shanda Labesia Kurabaga. I throw down now and forever all altars of affliction. Maga de Brosiada, Africa de Brosiada, erected against the nation of Kenya. I erected against the well being of the nation of Kenya. I erected against the prosperity of the nation of Kenya. Aya, Tolomosia, and the leadership, Korobosia, Chenderemosia, Kenderemosia, to all those that fear the Lord, Danga de Brosiana, Banderebosia, enter Jehovah God, like a swimmer, swimmer, bringing down the riches of the wicked, bringing down the riches of the wicked. They have thought for themselves, they have said, This is my water, I made it for myself. This is my wall. I build it for myself. Magada Brosata Brosia. Mayago Kalibaga. My father, my father. The God of the poor. The God of the needy. The God of righteousness. The God of the new generation. The God of the universe. Hey, Kada Brosia. Step into their tents. Step into their homes. Step where they have built walls for themselves. Kege, Tobrosa, Shendemosia, Kondolomosia. Let the walls come down. Let their walls come down. Let their walls come down. Let their walls come down. The rich have built walls for 
for themselves. What about the wicked? They have also lifted wars for themselves, but the poor and the needy and the miserable have no wars. Kayado Brosia that they have built for themselves. Bring down the walls of the rich that have become rich in an evil way. Bring down the walls of evil politicians that have collected the money, that have collected the wealth of the nation of Kenya. Koromo Zagado, Bayando Bozua Tabesi, Kondolo Gondoro 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 Bua, Keke de Prosadaba, Sheke de Prosagada, Bende Bosi Kadaraga, Sheke de Prosike Deke, Bandela Pesia Kudagada, Bende de Mosia Kurabaga, Sheke de Keriga, in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well. We are meeting for the next service. Continue praying for Kalonzo, very big. Pray for him, pray for him. I am just saying pray for him. The rest I will let you know when God time come. Pray for him in Jesus' name. Let's meet for our 10 o'clock hour of the service in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>